What's going on, guys? It is Bernardo, and today is all about configuring your company branding within your Microsoft 365 tenant. I know we did this before, but this is part two, so let's get right into it. All right, so last month, it looks like Microsoft updated their company branding with new features. It kind of excited me, so I wanted to do this video for you guys. This is the article right here. You need to have the following licenses to actually use this feature. Uh, if you scroll down a little bit, this is a type of branding that you can actually do within the sign-in portal. And I think this is Microsoft's way to stop the whole phishing thing because a lot of phishing attacks typically will redirect the user to the Microsoft default version. And it looks like Microsoft site and they log in and their credentials are stolen. So this is a way for companies to fight that phishing attempt to customize the entire thing, right? Now, if you scroll down a little bit more, you're going to see that you do need to change how the user gets into the sign-in portion. So it looks like there are specific URLs and you need to enter your domain for it to work correctly. For example, for Microsoft Outlook, you gotta type in outlook.com forward slash and your domain. This will automatically redirect you to your fancy looking sign-in portal. If you scroll further down, uh, there is a CSS template that allows you to customize it the way that you really want it. We will go over that. I am not a CSS guru. For those individuals that are, please send me a direct message. I would definitely like to pick your brain because this CSS template is super complicated. I know basic things, so forgive me if I do something wrong on the video. If I did do something wrong, let me know at the comment section because I would like to learn. Now, my current configuration for my portal looks like this. Pretty simple. I got a background. I got a nice little image inside a sign-in box. Uh, pretty dull. So we want to change it up. So let's configure it, right? So to configure it, let's launch our Microsoft 365 admin portal. On the left-hand side, let's click on show all. Within here, we're going to locate uh, identity. And it's going to take you here. Yeah, Microsoft decided to change their name. I don't know why. And on the left-hand side, let's click on Show More. Within Show More, we're going to locate the user experiences. And inside there, we're going to click on Company Branding. In the first video, we did this already, but it might look a little different than if you never configured it. It's actually going to take you to the Get Started part. If you already have something branded within your tenant, all you have to do is just click on Edit. And the first tab would be your basic. Now I don't have the tab icon, so I'm gonna click on browse and I'm gonna pick my tab icon. Now they do give you the specifications right there. It should be a 32 by 32 uh, file, no bigger than five kilobytes. And it should be a PNG or a JPEG. Now I already provided a background image and that's on the first video. So all I have to do is just click on next for the layout. And for the layout, by default, I have template, but I'm going to enable the header and footer. Now from here, you're actually able to customize your portal using CSS. Now to configure your company using CSS, this is the website that actually gives you the rundown, like a reference guide, and allows you to download the template. Now I already downloaded the template, and this is how the template looks. Now for me, for my environment, these are the following attributes that I configured inside the CSS template. Now I automatically changed my A link to the color of gray. Further down, and I changed the header to blue. Further down, I changed the header logo. I gave it a max height of 50 pixels. Further down on the template, I actually made the sign-in box of a border radius of 20 pixels and an opacity of 85%. I went down a little further. I even configured the banner logo to the following of a max height of 36 pixels. Display is a block. The margin for the left and right are auto. I went down a little further and I located the boiler plate text to be centered. And I also changed the feed cred box to the radius of 20 pixels, which is basically the entire sign-in box. So that was pretty cool. At the end, I'm gonna show you guys how it looks. And the last thing that I did was I changed the color of the footer to the following. Once you're done configuring your CSS file, you're basically going to click on Browse. 
and then locate your CSS file and then you get to go. So from here, we're going to click on next for the header section. I don't have a header logo and they give you the configuration settings right there. It, sh it has to be a 2080 by 60 pixel image. Make sure it is transparent. So I clicked on browse. I selected my PNG file and then we're good to go. So click next for the footer section. For this section here, you are able to configure the display text and the URL. I left everything as the default, but I left it as enabled. So it will show on the lower right hand side of the web page. So click next for the sign in form. Uh, for the banner logo, this is what I got. Again, they do provide you the information of what type of image you need. Uh, you are able to insert a light and dark theme for your square logo. I didn't do that for this video. If you scroll down a little bit more, you are able to insert a sign in page text, which I definitely did. And this is what I added. If you scroll down a little bit more, you are able to configure the self service password reset. Again, I didn't do anything here. I clicked on review, nice little review, click on save. And on the upper right hand side, it's going to say updating the default branding. Give it some time. It should change to successfully updated the default branding. Now, if you open up a page and you go inside uh, office.com to sign in, for me, this is how it looks. I did make some modifications behind the scenes because again, uh, if you have white on white, it's not gonna look great. I had to change the logo to green for it to stand out. Uh, as you can see, like the sign in has like that nice little radius and is round and it has the text that I inserted within the sign in form, which is awesome. And that's it guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you are a guru with CSS and you understand that template, please hit me up because I would like to learn and pick your brain and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.